Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. This is truly part three and the finale of this great unboxing. Um, so this is actually, the so far, like I've shown some pretty big books in the first video, really, really big books in the second video. And um, this is like gonna be the finale with just a really great thing that I encountered. So um, the stuff that I'm gonna be unboxing, I noticed I, I kind of opened it up a bit. Um, I noticed that one of the things was a collection that I bought. So there was a, a Instagram um, auction, like claim sale, I should say. And the guy was, oh my goodness. I was like, uh, he was offering like these um, big, 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 big books. And I was like, but I had some of them already in my collection, but I was, I was actually going to buy them. I was like going to buy some of these other ones that he had offered. Like he had like, you know, the first black uh, super uh, Spider-Man suit, uh, you know, Secret Wars number eight. And he added a 9-8 newsstand. <laughs> so 9-8 newsstand. Uh, and it was like $300 or something. It was just insane. Like the prices were just so insane. I was like, wow. I, I was like so tempted to buy like so many things that he had. Uh, he had because his prices were just, just really great um and not only were they great so like he had like you know these big books reasonable price but he was also willing to negotiate so you could say oh um would you go 50 percent off <laughs> and he'd be like sure i'm like you know so i was like you know re I, I ended up spending like 1500 bucks because it was just like there was just book after book after book that was just like wow uh i have to get that it was in my collection so I'm going to show you some of that stuff. Um, and um, before I get into those ones, though, I'm going to show some other things that I picked up along the way. Um, so the first one is just a book that I always wanted to have in my collection. This is Flaming Carrot Comics, which you're probably wondering what, <laughs> what is Flaming Carrot Comics. It's kind of a quirky um, indie comic. Uh, this is Flaming Carrot Comics number 16. And this is one of the key issues from the run. Like number one's big, and this one would be the other big book from Flame and Carrot. Uh, this one is cool because it has the first appearance of Mystery Men. So this is the Mystery Men over here, the original Mystery Men. Uh, and if you watch the movie, I really recommend you watch the movie. It is hilarious. It is just a fun, fun movie. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of like these, you know, B-class superheroes. And they end up killing, <laughs> by accident, the main superhero guy that has been just, like, removing all crime. Uh, so um, they have to basically deal with the repercussions of that. So it's a really funny story. Um, just really, really great. Um, you know, and so this has the first appearance of uh, the Shoveler. Uh, really great character. Uh, jumping Joshua Fat. Screwball, Mr. Furious, with really funny, I think it's Ben Stiller that plays Mr. Furious, and Red Rover. And um, so it says, the first appearance of Mystery Men. So just a really great book. Always wanted this book because I was a big fan of the movie. I've watched the movie, I'd say five, six times, maybe more. I don't know. I really love that movie. Always watch that movie. I really enjoy it. Okay. I like quirky superheroes, so... That's kind of the reason. Um, now the next book, so I'm kind of warming up to that big auction that I, I, I mentioned, uh, but my warm up is like super hot. <laughs> I don't know because the next book I'm going to show you is a major book. Oh my goodness. Um, this one is just really like, and I got it, I, I forgot what I paid, but I got it for a great deal. Um, this is Action Comics number 42. So early Action Comics. This is the, the 42nd... No, I don't know. No, I was going to say 42nd appearance of Superman. No, I don't think it is, but uh, I'm just joking. Uh, but that's not the key for this book. This is Action Comics number 42. This is... I'm going to read it because I have to read it. I have to... I'm, I'm getting old. And I have to read things where I have to, like, get longer arms because I have to kind of keep it away from my face to read it. But it's origin and the first appearance of Vigilante. So this is the original Vigilante. So if you've watched, um, what's it called? Uh, the cartoon series with uh, Justice League. 
um, where they have like this guy and he looks like a gun, like a shoot him up kind of gun guy with the mask, like a like handkerchief cover. Uh, that is Vigilante, okay? Uh, that's the original Golden Age Vigilante. Well, this is his first appearance. So the first appearance of Vigilante, Black Pri Pirate Ends, Luther appearance, first appearance of Fat Man. I'm not sure who Fat Man is, but Vigilante is the reason I bought this book. This is a really great book. Um, I I know it's restored, but when it's restored in a low grade, like this is a 1.5, um, and it presents really well, actually, um, it really doesn't impact the price. It Like maybe it's like 90%, you know, instead of 100% of the value, but uh, it really doesn't impact the, the price. Um, so this is Slight C1, which is amateur restoration. Restoration includes small amount of glue on spine of cover. That's it. <laughs> so there's a little bit of glue on the spine. Probably I can tell where that is, actually. Um, if you look at this corner right down here, I'm not sure if you can see that right there, you can see that this piece has been taped. Well, if you remove that, it's still graded at a 1.5. So this is one of those ones where, sure, it's restored, but it could easily be a blue label 1.5. <laughs> so, um, and it might actually grade higher based on what I'm seeing. It looks insanely solid. I'm going to show you the back. Um, you know, they got some chipping, but really, uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe, okay, a little bit of stuff going on up here. But the front is really nice. Just a really great presenting. Um, I'm going to take it out of the plastic because I feel like it, it's not really showing. It's, this is a really great book and you just don't see it very often. Um, I love these Golden Age first appearances. And it shows really sharply. I mean, this is a beautiful book. I really love this. <laughs> I really, really, I think it's a great one too because it's one of the few ones like, if you look at the early Superman covers, not many of them have like really action-y. It's more like Superman just standing there. And this one is a really great one. It's like, you know, Superman flying down, bullets are bouncing off his chest. Really great. I just really love this. This is really, really nice. And I love the fact that it's the first Golden Age appearance of a cool character. So, um... Uh, Vigilante doesn't have any superpowers. He's uh, he's just a regular guy, but um, he's just really you know he's like a you know good at the gun kind of thing. He's like a gunslinger. Okay, so the next book before I show the big ones, like the big collection that I bought, um, is Theater Number Six, uh, Number Six, Number One in a nine six. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say, and I kept on seeing this come up on uh, Heritage. And every time the price was pretty high, it was like one to $200 range. And I just liked the cover. And I think that's why people were buying it because it's a really great cover. It's a sexy cover. And uh, this is the variant for theater. Um, I actually picked up the whole series just because I like this cover. <laughs> like this cover made me buy the whole series. Uh, this is from Zenoscope. And I just think it's a really, you know, it's a very sexy lingerie cover. Um, the theater number one limited edition and Zenoscope exclusive and it is uh rowan uh ronin uh escu joe escu joe excu ho <laughs> excu ho <laughs> i don't know uh i totally brutalized his name i'm i apologize because he is a great artist i have to admit um really great one and i'll show the back as well so just a really sexy, great, good girl, modern art cover. So um, yeah, so that's um, theater number one. Okay, so now we're going to get into the ones that I was kind of talking about. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by big books that were in the collection. Um, and this is one I always wanted to have. And when I saw it, I was like, I got to buy it. And he said he wanted, like, I'll show you, like, he wanted 350 which was still below fair market value. So three, I think these go for four fifty and a nine six. This is uh black uh the black uh, the dark knight Batman the dark knight number one, and this book is seen as one of those pivotal pivotal moments in the uh, Batman series because it really kind of added a new layer of um, <sighs> realism to the story and kind of like this you know weighted like kind of serious 
consequence, serious situations uh, to the Batman story. Uh, and this this cover is considered one of the you know those really great uh, covers. Um, so yeah, so he he wanted three fifty. I said, hey, I'm gonna always like try to get a better price. I said three hundred. I shouldn't. I actually was worried about doing this in this case because it was a great price originally. I was worried there was enough people on the the chat that they were gonna say, oh, it's a great price. They would pick it up for the full price. And they actually did that on a few things. I actually lost out on a few things because I kept on trying to negotiate. Um, but I offered three hundred, and he said, sure. I was like, great. <laughs> I'm so happy. So I always wanted to get this book. And um, so this is uh, The Dark Knight Returns uh, from 1986. Really great book. And um, like my fingerprints all over it. Uh, this is a Frank Miller story and cover. It's a really great, uh, really great book. White pages too. Okay, the next one is another really big book. Um, I actually have this book, but this is like, mine is like, I would say like a VG copy. It's like a low grade. Um, and this one was just so much nicer presenting. This is X-Men Annual number one. And this is actually one of those books where I believe there was a warehouse find or something like that for this book. He wanted 300 for it. I offer 275. I think it goes for usually around 400 in this grade, 9.2. But, um, you know, it's really a cool book. And with the X-Men coming back, uh, soon. Um, I think these books are poised to go up and I just wanted to have a really great copy of this where it presents a lot better than the one I have. So, um, I think it's just a really great one. It's Origin of, uh, The Sinister Stranger. <laughs> um, and what else? What else? It's just, it's a great one because it is a crossover. It's like the, I believe it's the first crossover for, um, uh, the Avengers and X-Men. So uh, just a really great uh, Jack Kirby cover too. So X-Men annual number one, 1970. Uh, and a nice high grade. That's like reasonably good grade. So now these are all the raw comics that we had. And it is well taped. And, uh, and Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, lots of tape. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I got it out of the mailer. No, I didn't. <laughs> More tape. Lots of tape. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's good. Okay, so there's this bundle of comics that I bought from the guy. Um, and these were really some really great stuff. Lots of Golden Age stuff in this in this lot. And I was offering, like, I don't know why people weren't picking up the Golden Age stuff. I don't really know why. And um, so some of these were, like, kind of sitting there. And he wanted, like, reasonable prices. And because I was, like, you know, I'd already spent a lot on those, <laughs> like, those other books. I was, like, oh, should I spend a bit more? Uh, and I decided to pull the trigger on these ones. But I offered really, like, just, I was trying to offer as low price as possible just to see if he would go for it. Would he go for these crazy prices that I was offering? And he did. So I was quite happy. So um, I, and I was, like, doing things like, if I get that one, that one, and that one, would you go, like, $100? And, like, the, he had it even, like, below fair market value at 200 or something crazy. And I was, like, offering 100 It was, you know, it was pretty funny. Uh, he had really great prices. So I'll show you what. Okay, so first one is not a Golden Age book, but uh, he actually had it at a fair price. Uh, it's just one of those cover buys. This is truly a cover buy. Um, this is X-Men number one, and this is the like uh, Virgin variant for it. Uh, this book is extremely pricey. I think this would, uh, this is a one in 500. <laughs> like it's like a really rare book. Art Germ Virgin variant. And normally this goes for, um, uh, I don't know, like $300, you know, in a raw high grade. And this is easily a 9.8. Like, I don't see any flaws with it. Um, I offered $125 and he said yes. <laughs> so I was like, wow, what a great deal. 
so and it's just a really great um you know uh what's her name uh, scarlet witch cover so just a really great cover uh, so yeah so there's that one and this is one i never had in my collection um and i always wanted this this is punisher number one from the mini series. This is like the first series for Punisher. So this is the first title for Punisher. Um, and I never owned this. I always owned Punisher number one from the like uh, continuously series, but I never owned this one. Uh, and this one, it just had this really, it, it's a really great cover. Um, so he had it for a hundred dollars and I offered $45 for it. <laughs> so, and it's in a 9.0. So, uh, yeah, 45 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. <laughs> pretty good deal. Uh, I was quite happy about that. Um, so yeah. And, uh, the next one is, um, a really great cover. It's one, like I'm, I'm trying to get the complete run of this series. Uh, this is a golden age series. This is number 132. And this is a Maurice Whitman cover, bondage cover for jungle comics. Um, and it's just a really great action thing. You got the guy flying in to save the girl from the last second of being like maybe eaten by the lion. And it's just a really great Maurice Whitman cover. I, I'm a big fan of Maurice Whitman. And you got even the guys in the background, you know, they're all fighting it out in the background. Just a really great cover. So much detail. Um, so this is uh, Jungle Comics 132. And it's in a 7.5. It is really high grade. And I, I, I think his grading is pretty solid from what I can see. Um, so at $100, <laughs> oh my goodness. It is such a great, uh, there's only 16 on the census. Just a really great book. Really great book. And as I said, this guy just had really great pricing. I was lowballing it too. And I was like, so I offered 75 bucks for that book. <laughs> just like it's such a great price. Oh my goodness. I was so happy. Okay. Uh, the next one is White Princess. This is a really, this is one of those crazy long titles. They renamed it later, but it's White Princess of the Tiger Fights the Witch Doctor Murder Cult. That's the title. Like it's, this is really a crazy long title. Uh, it was originally called just White Princess. Um, I didn't have this one. This is number two. I have number one. This is a, actually an issue that I was missing. So originally he wanted a hundred bucks for this. I offered 60. He said, sure. And it's also in a fairly high grade. There's only 14 of these on the census. Um, it's a 6.0. And it, you can see it is sharp. It is a really nice copy. Really pretty. Really great. I love Jungle Girl covers. <laughs> so uh, comics in general. Um, so yeah, that was quite nice. Okay, the next one is uh, another interesting one. I like these. I've been trying to collect uh, this kind of weird um, theme, and I'll show you what I mean. This one has a bit of issues to it. Um, this is, it's in high grade, actually. I would say it, he has it as, um, what is it? He grades it as a 7.5. I think because somebody wrote on it, it that's the problem with this book. Uh, but other than that, it's quite good. Uh, spine is reasonable, I'd say. But it looks, it's quite sharp. It's like the theme that I was interested in is this kind of dreaming kind of like where they have this bubble kind of thing. Um, so he had it originally at 75 bucks. Uh, I offered $30 for this. <laughs> Leave it to Binky number nine. I think it's just a really great cover. Um, it's a nice dream cover. Okay. And... Um, this one is a really rare book. There's only two of these on the census. This is a date with Judy. Um, this is in a 5-0. Um, I believe I offered like 20 bucks for it or something like that. I, I, I did it as a package set for this one. So a date with Judy, number four. It's just a really, I like these good girl art covers. So a date with Judy has a lot of really great good girl art covers. So this is just one of them. I thought it was kind of fun. And so I think I did it as a package and that's how I got it fairly affordably. Um, this one only has five on the census. He grades it at a nine. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. 
like for a golden age book, 9.0 is just an insane grade. And I believe he is right. I mean, this thing is flawless. It has like one chip, I would say, like one kind of ding in the corner right there. But that is it. And maybe one non-color breaking spine tick. But this is just another date with Judy. Uh, there's only five on the census. I offered, I think I offered um, $90 for this one. Um, and it's just a really, uh, so I don't think it's a 9.0 actually. I think that was the price I paid. That was not 9.0, it was 90. Uh, but I think this is like, I would say this is probably a seven on my, I would be guessing based on what I see. So this is a date with Judy. Just a really great good girl art cover again. Uh, just a fun cover. Um, and this is number seven, date with Judy number seven. And this one just wasn't going for whatever reason. Nobody was picking this one up. Uh, I, I think I offered like twenty five bucks or something. Really, I just offered almost next. I think it was like twenty five bucks I offered. Um, and this is in a five zero. Um, this is. True Life Secrets, and the reason it's a 5.0, actually, I think it's lower than that. That doesn't look right. I think it's a lower grade than that, actually. Um, is there's a chip out of the corner there? But this is True Life Secrets number nine, and it's a, just a really nice, again, another girl, good girl art cover from the from the Golden Age. Um, and I'm not sure who the artist is for this. It says uh, uh, for for low, uh, for, for low, for low, for lalo, for lalo, for low, <laughs> and fago. Uh, you can maybe pronounce it better than I can. I am terrible at names. Okay, so yeah, so um, True Life Secrets. I think it's a really great cover. I really liked it. Um, so yeah. And for the price, hey, <laughs> 25 bucks? I can go, you know, it's reasonable price. So, so those are some of the big ones. Um, and that was that collection. So I, I thought, you know, I did quite well. I was quite excited about that. Um, now we just got two more books to do. Both are slabs. Um, the first one is a spec book, under the radar spec, one that I think has real potential. I mean, real potential to go through the roof. I got it for a great deal. Um, this is Daredevil Volume 2, number 11. And this is the first full appearance of Echo. So the book that everyone goes for, I believe, is issue 9, um, which I also have, or issue 7, one of those ones. Um, but she is never, she's always in cameo on those, in those books. This is her first full appearance. It doesn't say it, though, um, but it is, um, uh, Echo's first full appearance. And this book is, as I said, under the radar, and it has real potential to go up. And I got it in a high grade, 9.8, um, because, and it was at auction. It was auctioned. I, I think I paid like 60 bucks or 70 bucks. It was like in that range. Um, for this book, it's, it was a steal. <laughs> it was just a really great win. Um, and I think it's really under underrated book. Because there's going to be an Echo series. We know the character is kind of, they're pushing it. Uh, it's going to be one that's going to be around for a while. I think the girl signed up for a bunch of series. Uh, so yeah, so Echo, uh, first full appearance. Uh, Daredevil, volume two, number 11. Okay. And the last lap is actually interesting because it, though it's in this unboxing, it, is actually part of the other box. Uh, and I'll explain. So somebody had a complete collection of Lorna of the Jungle. And, um, you know, it was, um, I think it's 26 books in the collection for the whole series. And they had the whole series. And they're all like low grade. I would say good to very good kind of grades. Um, but, uh, you know, 26 books. I paid $200 and one of the books is a slab. Uh, so I thought, wow, that's a really great price. It was um, at auction. Nobody bid on it except for me. Uh, I think, well, there was one or two other bids, but I, I got it. I snagged it at 200. So I was quite happy. Um, this is Lorna, the Jungle Queen number one. And it's a restored low grade. 
as I was saying, they're not super high grades, but this one presents really well. Um, again, let's read the restoration notes. Uh, it says, restoration includes small amount of glue on cover. And I can see that. Uh, I think I'm going to try to show it right in there. You can see a little bit of glue. Um, that could be removed. Would it still grade at a 2? I doubt it. I would say I would get a 1.8. Just because when it's on the spine like that, CGC is a little more brutal to the, the grading. So sometimes it's not a good idea to <laughs> crack open a book, remove the restoration, and then resubmit it. Because sometimes you will get a lower grade. Now the difference in price between a 1.8 and a 2 is not much. So generally, in these low grades, removing restoration or leaving the restoration on when you get the purple label really doesn't impact the price. It, it, it's only in the high grades because restoration, if you try to remove it in the high grades, it can drop the, the book from being a 9.8 <laughs> to being a, like, a, like a 4. You know, that kind of level of uh, damage can be done just by removing the, any restoration. Uh, but in these low grades, the book is usually kind of beaten up anyways, and the restoration really doesn't impact the price uh, and value. So um, definitely something to look for. Look for. It's always something you can use, use as a negotiation chip. So uh, people don't really know how to value restoration, but if you kind of go in there with that knowledge that in the low grades, you can expect it only to reduce the value by about 10%, Go in there with that knowledge, but say, hey, you know, it's restored. You know, you really play down the restoration and say, hey, it's restored. I'm not going to, I don't want to spend that much on restored. Uh, you know, it's only worth half as much or, you know, the, you, you kind of play up how bad restoration <laughs> impacts the price. You know, uh, it's, it, it's part of negotiating. Okay. So I'm going to get probably a lot of flack for, for being so evil, but um <laughs> But yeah, you got to play up the restoration thing if you can use it. And I usually get restor restored comics, even in low grade, for half the value, just because you can negotiate that. Um, but really, they should be about the same because, as I said, you could crack it open and re-slab it and probably get equal grade or maybe slightly lower grade. And at the, the low grade points, it really doesn't affect, uh, affect the price. So uh, this is Lorna number one. Really great book. Uh, I, I'm super excited to open the the, the second uh, box, which will have the remainder 25 issues for this collection. And I'm super excited about that. You got to stay tuned for that. That's part two of these, like two separate um, uh, boxing series. Um, I hope you enjoyed this finale. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next series which will be i think a bit more because there's a lot more books in the other other unboxing so um i hope you enjoyed these three videos and i recommend you check out part two it had the best books in it part one had one really like insane book that you just don't see um but yeah check out the other parts i recommend that uh and check out my other videos i i do some really great unboxings so thanks for watching uh bye for now